Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day's practice question. Question was recently the term aspartame was in the news. It is related to artificial intelligence, satellite, artificial sweetener or genetically modified crop. The correct answer is option C, artificial sweetener. Recently, International Agency for Research on Cancer has labeled artificial sweetener aspartame as possibly carcinogenic to humans. Aspartame is a low calorie artificial sweetener that is approximately 200 times sweeter than sugar. It is a white odorless powder and is used in more than 5000 food products globally. Aspartame is composed of two amino acids, aspartic acid and phenylalanine linked together and these components are naturally found in various foods and are metabolized by the body during digestion. Its link with cancer was reported in 2006 and 2007 when scientists from the Ramazini Institute found that aspartame causes dose-related increases in malignant tumors in multiple organs in rats and mice. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Now, let's begin today's session. First question is, in the context of which of the following, Purana Chivira was mentioned in the news recently. Dragonfly, Sikaja, ant or butterfly? The correct answer is option B, Kikaja. Recently, the foreign Kikada species commonly found in South India has been given the name Purana Chivira derived from its Malayalam name Chividu. It is to be noted that previously this species was mistakenly identified as Purana Tigrina, a species described in Malaysia in 1850. The range of Chivira, the newly identified Kikada species, spans across the tropical evergreen forest from Goa to Kanyakumari. It is to be remembered that Kikadas are hemipteran insects renowned for their distinctive and species-specific acoustic signals or songs. India and Bangladesh possess the greatest diversity of Kikadas globally with China following closely behind. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements about the leader Nelson Mandela. One, he was South Africa's first democratically elected president. Two, his writings and speeches were collected in I am prepared to die. Three, he conferred the freedom of Peter Martinsburg posthumously on Mahatma Gandhi. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. Recently, the Nelson Mandela International Day is celebrated on 18th July. On May 10, Mandela was sworn in as president of the South Africa's first multi-ethnic government. Hence, statement 1 is correct. His writings and speeches were collected in I am prepared to die. His other works include No Easy Walk to Freedom, The Struggle is My Life and In His Own Words. His autobiography Long Walk to Freedom, hence statement 2 is correct. In recognition of Mahatma Gandhi, he conferred the freedom of Peter Martinsburg posthumously on Mahatma Gandhi on April 25, 1997. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements about Nawab Wajid Ali Shah. 1. Jaipur Gharana of Kathak came into existence during his reign. 2. He started Rahas and Ras in literature. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D, neither 1 nor 2. That is, both the statements are incorrect. Recently, a heritage walk and talk is to be held in Kolkata to celebrate the bicentenary year of Nawab Wajid Ali Shah. He was the 11th and the last king of Awadh. Lucknow style of Kathak dance in form of Lucknow Gharana came into existence during his reign. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. He started Rahas and Ras. Rahas was a dramatic form of theatre and Ras was a religious form. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is, recently the term radio caller was in the news. It is a GPS enabled caller, Bluetooth device, infrared using device or AI band. The correct answer is option A, GPS enabled caller. Recently, a measure to remove radio caller from 10 ranging cheetahs at Kuno National Park has been suggested following the death of two cheetahs in recent past days. Radio callers are GPS-enabled callers that can relay information related to location about anyone wearing it. 
Sometimes an accelerometer is at also attached to the collar to understand what exactly an animal is doing at any given time. In India, it is used to observe the movements of wild animals like elephants, cheetah and so on. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Standing Committee on Statistics. 1. It will replace the Standing Committee on Economic Statistics. 2. It has broader mandate to review the results and framework for economic indicators. 3. Mr. Pranap Sen is the chairman of new committee. How many of the statements given above is or are correct? Only one, only two, all three or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. Recently, the government has constituted a new panel to advise on surveys, identify and plug data gaps. It will replace the Standing Committee on Economic Statistics set up in late 2019. Hence, statement 1 is correct. It has a broader mandate to review the framework and results of all surveys conducted under the AGs of the National Statistical Office. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Mr. Pranap Sen, India's first chief statistician and the former chairman of National Statistical Commission has been named the chairman of the new committee. Hence, statement 3 is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is recently the term rules of origin was in the news. It is related to GAWT rules, OECD rules, APEC rules or Karotar rules. The correct answer is option D, Karotar rules. Recently, issues of the trade pact revolving around IPR, global value chains and rules of origin have been discussed during India-UK FTA talks. Rules of origin are the criteria needed to determine the national source of a product. Customs administration of rules of origin under trade agreements, Karotar rules, came into effect from September 2020 in India. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Gambusia fish. 1. It is native to the waters of the southeastern United States. 2. They are used for mosquito control strategies. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, Andhra Pradesh government has released approximately 10 million Gambusia fish into the state's water bodies to combat mosquito-borne diseases like malaria and dengue. Gambusia affinis or G. affinis is native to the waters of the southeastern United States and a single full-grown fish eats about 100 to 300 mosquito larvae per day according to MOHFW. Hence, statement 1 is correct. Gambusia have been a part of mosquito control strategies for over a century in various parts of the world including India. G. affinis has a sister species, Gambusia holbrooki, also known as the eastern mosquito fish. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Mosquito fish has been part of various malaria control strategies in India since 1928, including the urban malaria scheme. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is, Export Preparedness Index is released by which of the following? World Bank, Niti Aayog, Ministry of Home Affairs or IMF? The correct answer is option B, Niti Aayog. Recently, Niti Aayog has released Export Preparedness Index 2022 report. The report discusses India's export performance amid the prevailing global trade context in financial year 22, followed by an overview of the country's sector-specific export performance. The report further highlights the need to develop our districts as export hubs in the country and undertakes a district-level analysis of merchandise exports in the country. According to the report, coastal states have performed well with states of Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Gujarat being the top performers. The report states that the higher average of coastal states represent their better preparedness and higher contribution to national export. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is Veer Savarkar International Airport was recently seen in the news. It is associated with which of the following states or union territories? Andaman and Nicobar, Maharashtra, Ladakh or Nagaland? The correct answer is option A, Andaman and Nicobar. Recently, Prime Minister inaugurated the new integrated terminal building of Veer Savarkar International Airport, Port Blair, Andaman and Nicobar. As a gateway to the pristine islands of the Andaman and Nicobar, Port Blair is a popular destination for tourists. The inauguration of the new integrated terminal building, built at a cost of around Rs. 710 crore, will play a key role in boosting connectivity of the island UT. 
with a total built up area of around 40800 square meter the new terminal building will be capable of handling about 50 lakh passengers annually inspired from nature the architectural design of the airport terminal resembles a shell shaped structure depicting sea and islands the new airport terminal building has a number of sustainability features like double insulated roofing system to reduce heat gain skylights to provide maximum inlet of abundant natural sunlight during day time to reduce artificial light usage inside the building etc therefore option a is the correct answer last question is consider the following statements regarding the hampi one hampi was founded in the middle of the 16th century by two princes named hakka and bukka two it is located in the krishna river basin which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct one only two only both one and two or neither one nor two the correct answer is option d neither one nor two that is both the statements are incorrect recently g20 sherpa meet was concluded in hampi hampi was founded in the middle of the 14th century by two princes named hakka and bukka hence statement one is not correct Situated across the mighty Tungabhadra River in Vijayanagar district of Karnataka, Hampi is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Hence, statement two is not correct. The site consists of about sixteen hundred monuments and is spread over an area of forty one point five square kilometers. Temples of Hampi are noted for their large dimensions, florid ornamentation, bold and delicate carvings, and stately pillars, which include subjects from the Ramayana and the Mahabharat. Therefore option D is the correct answer. Now it's time for the practice question. Which of the following best explains Crimean Congo hemorrhagic parasites, ocean deposits, virus or frog species? Send answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.